Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to make a simple gift idea. Uh, we're just going to make a small hook uh, that's kind of unusual. Uh, it could be used as a plant hanger or something to hang a hummingbird feeder off of or wind chimes. Uh, this one is going to be made out of a piece of 15 inch long by 3 8 thick square stock. But if you have something else, a round stock or a larger piece or smaller piece, it doesn't really matter. It will still work. Here we start by doing the set down for the mounting plate. It is very important to keep your hammer blows even in power and to keep the back plate even in thickness. Make sure you keep the shank of the hook straight as you're forging the back plate. Hammering at this lower heat will plainish the surface of the metal and make it more smooth. Now we have to start the taper for the hooking. I do this by rotating the work after I've completed one pass of hammer blades along the length of the taper. Make sure you remove as much scale as possible to keep a clean surface finish. When you're done with the taper, just planish the entire surface. I should have done this at a higher heat, but I got ahead of myself. Since the cross section of the spiral is going to be on the diamond edge, 
I should have used a soft-faced hammer made of rawhide or wood, but I don't have one. After you're done with your spiral, you have to put it in the vise or on the anvil and true up the plane of the spiral so that it all becomes one line. I lost some footage here, but you can see that I have started beveling the edges by filing. As I've said before, always center punch your holes to be drilled. Here I countersunk the holes, just to make sure that they were deburred and that they would not interfere with the nail. I put the pieces back into the forge to create an even coating of scale. I painted these off camera since they were going to be outside. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, please let me know what you want to see next in the comments.